George Norcross, a political power broker and billionaire from South Jersey, says he is considering filing a lawsuit against the Philadelphia Eagles after being ejected from Sunday's game against the Dallas Cowboys. According to Norcross, it's all because he expressed his support for Israel. Norcross claimed he was beaten and taken by force from the box he was seated in because he would not take down the Israeli and American flags that were hanging from it. Congressman Donald Norcross, the brother of Norcross, posted a photo of the flag on social media. The non-police security personnel at Lincoln Financial Field and the Eagles' NFL physically removed and assaulted me yesterday because I wouldn't take down a 3 feet by 5 feet American and Israeli flag that was hanging from the box I was sitting in. As a devoted longtime fan and season ticket holder, I have witnessed the Eagles' NFL make strong and unambiguous statements on a number of significant civil justice issues, as well as ethnic and international conflicts. One such statement was their support for the people of Ukraine. Additionally, as a steadfast ally of Israel, which was brutally attacked by the terrorist organization Hamas less than a month ago, I felt it was crucial to make. Though both the Eagles and the NFL released public statements strongly supporting Israel in the wake of the October 7 attacks, it is still unclear why they think the U.S. Israeli flag should be taken down because it is obscene or indecent, or otherwise inappropriate, for which I was cited. However, I urge other pro-Israel supporters to voice their opinions to the Philadelphia Eagles and the NFL, as they have done to colleges like Penn and Harvard, even as I consider whether to file a lawsuit against the team, the NFL, and the security company that forced me out of my comfort zone and paraded me in front of thousands of fans. There is no denying that Hamas killed innocent Israeli civilians on October 7, sexually assaulted women, killed children, and is still holding hostages. Like the US did after the September 11 attacks, I think Israel has the right to self-defense, and I will continue to be an outspoken and proud supporter of that right. The freedom to peaceful protest is guaranteed to all Americans, but it does not include the right to threaten others with physical violence or even death.